Hello and welcome to another episode of Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we are going to show you how to cook store-bought corned beef and make it for dinner. Oh yeah! Now most people like corned beef when it's St. Patrick's Day, but for me, and no, 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 I love corned beef anytime. Go to your store and pick yourself up a package of corned beef, bring it to your sink, and we're going to take it out of the package super easy, just like this. Bam! We got it nice and rinsed off. We got all that water and gunk off from the packaging. And now we're just going to cover it with some water here. It's very easy to make this. Don't be intimidated by a big piece of meat. Just throw it in some boiling water for a long period of time and it's going to taste amazing. Now inside that package of corned beef, you're going to find some seasoning just like this. We're going to crack that bad boy open and place it into our pot with our meat. We're going to put this on high and we're going to watch this and let it come to a simmer just like so. Once it comes to a simmer, we're going to put the lid back on it and we're going to turn that heat down to low. We're going to let this go for two and a half hours. Now I went with a number between low and two. I would recommend checking your settings on your oven. Now while we're waiting for that, we're going to prepare the rest. I've chopped up some cabbage, some giant pieces of potato quartered. And I got a bag of cut and peeled baby carrots because I am a lazy bastard. That's right. I didn't want to cut and peel carrots today, so I just bought the store bought. It's fine. It'll taste great. We got an hour left. Let's take a look. Make sure everything's going fine. Look at this beautiful piece of meat. It's doing great. We're going to come back in a little bit and throw in the carrots. With about uh, 15 minutes before the bell rang, we threw the carrots in because they take a little bit longer. Now I'm going to throw in these golden potatoes. Oh yeah. And then on top of that, we're going to add in our cabbage. Guys, this is so simple. You don't have to do anything. There's enough salt and all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get updates on when we have new updates coming out. Now back to cooking. We're going to put the rest of our cabbage in with all the rest of the vegetables. Try to squeeze it into that water as best as possible, but not to worry. We're going to put the lid back on there, and it's going to steam nicely after we cook it for 30 minutes. That's right, 30 minutes. So total cooking time is about three hours for this brisket. And this is what you come out with. Look at this. Beautiful, salty. It's got these potatoes. The cabbage is nice and soft. It's not St. Patrick's Day, but my goodness, it tastes great. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it helps our channel out a lot. Thank you and have a wonderful day.